I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy from Video Aerial Systems, and this is my receiver antenna selection video. The receiver antenna is quite possibly the most important component of a ground control station. It can be the difference between absolute failure and complete success. So you'll need to choose it wisely. Now, of course, you'd like to hear that there is just a best. Well, there's not. There is not a one-size-fits-all antenna that just doesn't exist, simply because we can't violate the laws of physics. A receiver can only hear from a certain volume of air. You cannot make that volume of air any larger, but what you can do is change its shape. And to change its shape from a cone to maybe a beam or a circle or a donut is the job of the receiver antenna. So there's several different types of antennas for you to choose from, and you need to choose one that has the radiation pattern that best fits what you intend to do. The most common type of receiver antenna is known as an omni or omnidirectional antenna. An omnidirectional antenna offers coverage in all directions, so the amount of coverage in front to the sides or behind is the same and there is no penalty for any direction. Now the top tier or what is considered the best receiver antennas are either the Cyclone or the Mad Mushroom. Now that doesn't mean that the air screw, the cloverleaf, or the skew planer wheel don't work well. That simply means that the Cyclone and the Mad Mushroom have been optimized for receiver use. Now remember there's a certain volume of air which these antennas cover. If you want more range or even better penetration, you might need to choose a directional antenna. One of the oldest types of directional antennas that's been around for years, since the 1950s actually, is the helical antenna. These were actually developed for space communications. Now they come in various gains and sizes, and thus you need to select which one works best for you. Now the three turn helical offers a beam, a main beam of approximately 120 degrees at 7.5 dBi. That means the range is approximately three times that of an omni antenna within a 120 degree beam. The nice thing about a helical antenna is it also has side lobes. Side lobes mean that you can fly around yourself to the sides and to the back, but the distance you can go is not nearly as far as the main beam. Obviously, best coverage is in the main beam. If you want to go further, yet still retain your side lobes, you can step up to a 9.5 DVIC helical. This is approximately four times the distance of your omnidirectional antenna. Now the beam width on this is only 100, or excuse me, is only 90 degrees. It still has side lobes just like the three turn, but they're smaller. So you can't fly as far behind or to the sides of a five turn helical as you can a three turn helical. However, there are other antennas which you can choose from, such as the crosshair antenna. The crosshair antenna was developed by Hugo of True RC Canada and myself as a joint effort. We developed this specifically for long range and high penetration. The beam width on this at 10 dBi is actually 115 degrees. So despite having a higher gain than this helical, it actually even has a wider beam as well. Mind you, we didn't make that volume of air any larger. You can't violate the laws of physics. What we've done is taken the side lobes, compressed them into the main beam, and shot it out for greater coverage in the beam. That means if you're flying to the sides or behind this antenna, you need to keep it in fairly close. But the great thing about it is because there are no side lobes to listen to reflections, it has excellent punch. This is the antenna you want to choose if you want to fly behind trees, buildings, or hills. There are variants of this antenna, such as the pepper box. The pepper box is a phased array of two crosshairs. It offers 180 degree beam coverage, which means 90 degrees off of center. Again, we didn't make this volume of air any bigger. We simply took the cone of the crosshair and compressed it, flattened it, and made it wider. This means the vertical coverage is limited to about 45 to 50 degrees. However, the horizontal coverage is 180 degrees, 
which means it's great for low altitude wandering and with a gain of 13 dBi, you're unlikely to find the end of this antenna. Now remember, though it has 180 degrees of horizontal coverage, making it great for long range wandering, with a beam limited to about 45 degrees vertical, that means it's no good for altitude coverage. So if you're going for altitude, you're going to want to choose a helical or a crosshair. So in a nutshell, the Omni antenna is great for all around coverage and near field flying. For, for longer range, but still retaining coverage around you, select the proper helical. For long range, high penetration, flying behind objects, select a crosshair. For wide coverage, flying all around yourself and all around the sky at low altitude, the pepper box is your ticket. Am I be crazy? Keep your wings in the sky.